Hey guys, what is going on? It's your buddy Keith here again live in the control room at Essex Recording Studios just outside London in England. And I've got another really cool ESP LTD Metallica guitar to share with you today. Very rare, made for one year only. If you're new to the channel, click like, click subscribe, join the circle of friends. It's totally free. It costs you nothing. And you get to learn a lot about a lot of crazy cool guitars I get from all around the world and show you up close and in person each and every day so you have a good idea of uh, what they're like, what the specs are, what the fit and finish is like. You get to learn that they even exist because I'm sure a lot of you did not know about this one. Your buddy Keith didn't know about this one uh, until I had my last one. So this is my second, KH25, 25th anniversary it's a very unique guitar. You can only get it from LTD. And uh, it's to celebrate the 25-year relationship of ESP with Kirk Hammett of Metallica. You get the, uh, the graphic finish from his Vintage Relic model, which is really, really cool. Uh, a little bit of a step beyond that they usually go with uh, the LTD line. And my favorite part is you get inlays that I don't think exist on any other guitar. I call them the vampire skulls because if you look, they've got bangs for the teeth. Really cool mother of pearl inlays. Can't tell if they're acrylic or mother of pearl. They look like mother of pearl from here. You have his signature at the 12th fret with a 25. And um, yeah, Floyd Rose special bridge as well. So you get a more expensive bridge than the normal licensed Floyd Rose that you see on uh, the LTD models. Really cool. All of the proper relicking and dings in the right places and the stickers. Again, one year only they did this guitar. We flip it over and you see the relic finish extends to the back. So you got it all on the edge. All proper, even here on the angle where you've got the bevel and the... It's really nice. ESP neck plate, ESP on the uh, headstock there. ESP tuners. Really nice neck. Uh, killer quality. Battery compartment for the active pickups. You can see the plastic is still on all of the back covers. Super cool. So, I mean, this thing's like new, guys. Has not been played much at all. You know, I don't see any real pick scratches or anything there. Cool. So, in the LTD lineup... For this bolt-on reverse headstock Kirk Hammett style. These are, these are all based on the KH2 bolt-on. So you've got the KH202, which is the cheapest. Um, you've got the 502, which had, we, we just discovered together on the channel. And it has the abalone dot inlays and then two skulls here at the 12th. And then you've got the 602, which is a neck-through version uh, of the ESP neck-through KH2, and is essentially the real deal, but with LTD uh, instead of ESP on the headstock, built in Korea instead of J Japan, and then I think you get a Floyd Rose like 1000 bridge instead of a Floyd Rose original. Could be wrong though. Um, with this model, again, it's, uh, it's the LTD, it's built in Vietnam, so not... Uh, not in, in the Japanese factory, not in the Korean factory. So this would be, you know, technically probably below a, uh, a 602 and 502, but above a 202 as far as the spec goes. Now, then there's the factor of the collectability, and that is made for one year only, and all of the unique features that you can't get anywhere else, and that enhances the value, of course. So... For the Metallica collector, like your buddy Keith, this is a cool must-have that's, you know, very reasonably priced. It's got all of the look. It's got the unique features that you can't get on any other model. And if you want to uh, 
get a little more serious with it, swap out the ESP active pickups for the Bone Crushers or his original Dual 81s, EMG 81s, and then you've got an even uh, closer thing to, to the original, but still very special and still very unique, and that's what I like about it. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Stay tuned. More coming up.